Ovarian tissue cryopreservation and eventual transplantation are procedures used for fertility preservation in patients of all ages receiving high-risk gonadotoxic therapies. This video reviews the different surgical procedures that can be used to perform ovarian tissue cryopreservation and transplantation. A tiny needle is placed through a small incision in the belly button and used to inflate the abdomen. The needle is removed and an instrument guide, also known as a trocar, is placed through the incision into the abdomen. A camera is then inserted and is able to watch two additional trocars as they are placed in the right and left lower portion of the abdomen. The surgeon looks at structures in the abdomen and around the ovary to make sure the surgery can be safely completed. Generally, for small children, the entire ovary is removed, but for older girls and women, it is possible to remove only the outer layer or cortex for preservation. The ovary is grasped and a surgical energy device is used to separate the ovary from the fallopian tube. The ovary is then placed into a pouch and removed from the abdomen. If only a portion of the ovary is being preserved, then laparoscopic scissors are used to dissect the cortex from the rest of the ovary in strips. The tissue is then placed in a pouch and removed for processing. The surgeon confirms the surgical site is without bleeding and completes the surgery. If the whole ovary is removed, the specimen is sent to pathology for evaluation prior to tissue processing and freezing. The ovarian cortex is then dissected from the ovary, cut into one to two centimeter tissue strips, frozen and stored for future use. When the patient is ready to attempt pregnancy in the future, the small ovarian tissue strips are thawed and placed back into the pelvis by laparoscopy. In this first technique, scissors are used to make a two to three centimeter incision in the peritoneum or lining of the abdomen. The thawed ovarian tissue strips are then placed into the space and sealed. Another technique involves placing the ovarian tissue strips directly on the remaining ovary and suturing the tissue in place. The size of the ovary will determine the number of strips that can be placed using this technique. The patient is typically able to be discharged to home the day of the surgery. After transplant, return of ovarian function is monitored through blood work over several months. Once function is confirmed, the patient can proceed to attempt pregnancy naturally or with fertility treatments if necessary.